welcome back to my nail corner. Today I have a new to me dip brand to share with you guys. This is Sweet Southern Dips and Allie reached out to me and wanted to send me a couple of colors. She let me pick some off the website and that was that's always really fun for me. I mean I'm always happy to be sent whatever people want to send but I think it's really beneficial if I can pick some colors that I know will kind of suit my skin tone or my style. So these were the colors I picked. Look at that glitter. Oh my gosh. Razzle Dazzle will definitely be coming up in the future. But right out of the gate, that um, beautiful flake caught my eye. I believe it's called Strawberries and Cream. Not flake, I'm sorry. Foil. And I loved it so much. I think it would have gone really well with either one of those pinks. Maybe even the more vibrant one better I don't know but I really loved that soft pink color and so I was gonna wear that no matter what so that's what we're gonna get into I'm going to do some basic application here and then talk through foil application if you haven't been there before definitely consider foils I love them so much and they're just really easy to work with especially if you're someone who I don't know, likes kind of the pizzazz of the chunky glitters, but finds them just hard to work with or hard to get a good application out of. Foils can be just so like glam and eye catching and they're just super easy to work with. Um, this is Dipalicious Base and Top Coat 2-in-1 and it's what I had within arm's reach so that's what we're using. It applies really nicely, I have no problems with it so uh, if you need a 2-in-1 base and top coat definitely check that out from Dipalicious. But check out this powder. So it was super soft, super buttery, loved it very much and it has a gorgeous shimmer. I don't think my camera does it justice, but it's gorgeous. And I even included a little video clip at the end of this upload that shows like out in daylight. I was in my car and I was just like, the, the sun was catching the shimmer on these nails. And I was like, I gotta record this, I gotta include it. And so I tried to capture that for you guys. So check out that clip at the end to see the really pretty shimmer in this, which honestly probably makes it chromable. So if you're into chroming a nail, most shimmers you can do that with. So yeah, there's that. Anyway, I thought it was a really nice consistency. The powder had great coverage in one dip. It applied smoothly, like I said, like butter, and I just thought it was a really beautiful color. So if you have not heard of Sweet Southern Dips, definitely check them out. I will put their um, website link in the description box below, and she has an Instagram as well. So check them out, try them out, let me know what you think if you have already, or if you're going to. But she's got some really cute colors, really cute glitters, and definitely worth trying. So I'm going to finish these solid nails and then come back and talk to you about those foils.
so I am gonna get into this strawberries and cream which already had my heart because strawberries are my favorite fruit but also because uh, pink and purple glitters or not glitters foils in a white base like come on that's speaking my love language for sure so with this first dip I went ahead and I'm going to dip right into the jar just to show you that that is a possibility and then for my second layer I'm going to um, use a cupcake liner so you can kind of see both ways and kind of how the application goes if that helps you at all just to know there are options so um, if you have a, a glitter or a foil or something like that in a colored powder base or clear base if you kind of shimmy the jar it'll lift those foils or the glitters to the top so if you want a more dense foil or glitter application I do recommend giving it a little bit of a shimmy to bring those to the top and if not then leave them as is but totally your preference so the foils were so like I don't know what the word is I'm looking for um, just easy to work with they maneuvered really easily and if you apply foils like this and then just kind of tap on the nail it kind of presses those foils down a bit so you don't lose very many when you dust off this particular one with like a, a light kind of milky white base and then those foils I loved the kind of milk bath look it gave so these aren't obviously flowers but at glance like while this was on my nails it just reminded me so much of a milk bath nail so they were like flower petals in that in that white you know milky white and I just loved it so much so um, if you're into that look and maybe you've worked with like the dried flowers before which by the way I have an upcoming video working with uh, dried flowers to create a milk bath look so if you're into that stay tuned for a future upload but if you've tried that before and found dried flowers kind of harder to work with or encapsulate foils are amazing for that because they lay so flat so you're not gonna have to do a bunch of like just kind of filing and smoothing out the nail it just applies really flat so as I said you can just kind of tap them down with your finger it helps them lay flat and I really liked the way this application went so while you guys finish watching me apply the second layer um, I just want to say hi I feel like I'm catching up with you guys like uh, these one uploads a week feel like so crazy long in between and I have probably a couple of I don't know three or four videos Manny's up like um, recorded so you might be seeing a little bit more of me in the coming weeks as I get those it's really doing the voiceovers and editing them that I kind of put off if I'm being honest I don't know I just I just delay it like I'm doing this on Tuesday night and you're gonna see it on Wednesday morning but perhaps I will sit down this week with spare time and record a bunch of voiceovers and get some videos scheduled for you guys because it's been so sweet how you guys have just been like really supportive of me taking time with the family but also been like we miss you and that's really sweet and I love it so anyway I have some recorded so I will try to get those edited and uploaded also for those of you who were saying prayers and sending out support um, my husband made it back safe and sound they made the summit and um, just had a great week that uh, was super windy up on the mountain and so they were super cold but uh, they did really well so Mount Whitney summit that's the highest peak in the lower 48 states so basically everything except Alaska um, they uh, they made it so that was a nice accomplishment and I'm just thankful that he came home safe and we had a really nice weekend just catching up having a date night playing with the kids it was good time off and therapeutic for us all so um, as you can see right now I decided with a couple of like just sparse areas I would add in a couple of foils this is so easy with foils so I just applied base to the entire nail and then took um, the orange wood stick that I had on hand and tapped it in the base that was on my nail and then used that to pick up the extra foils and just place them on the nail they really just like melt onto the surface it's they're so easy to work with I just love 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 foils I don't know why I don't wear them with every Manny but they're amazing so this was no exception I loved it a lot and I highly recommend trying it out so I'm gonna finish that application I'm gonna cap and clear I'm going to buff and file off camera and then I'm gonna come back with some final thoughts for you guys so hang in there and I'll be right back
So I went ahead and filed and buffed off camera and it was a super easy filing job. These applied so smoothly, no lumps, no bumps, no any issues. So that is always a plus. And I am going to go ahead and apply my gel base. If you are new here, thank you for being here and please consider subscribing and giving a thumbs up to this video if you liked it and would like to see more content like this. So if you're new here, you're not familiar with my process, if I'm using a gel top coat, then I always apply gel base first. This is gonna help your gel top coat adhere to dip powder. So gel top coat by nature does not like to adhere to a slick, smooth, buffed surface. So gel base is just gonna give it that extra tackiness that it needs to adhere better. So if you've been applying um, a gel top coat over your dip powder and it's been peeling up or chipping on the edges, that's probably why, and this would help your process a lot. I know a lot of people will say like to rough up the surface of the dip powder, but I don't know, I like to buff my dip powder nice and smooth and pretty. So I am happy to go in with my gel base first and this prevents that problem from happening for me anyway. So I hope it does for you if you're someone that struggles with that. So look at those foils like come to life when you add the glossy top coat. I just think they're so pretty and I just, yeah, I just loved this powder. So definitely check out Sweet Southern Dips. So gel base, go ahead and cure in a lamp for 30 seconds and then go in with your gel top. And that's what you'll be seeing me do here. Uh, the gels I'm using today are my Triple D gel base and top. They are my favorite. They apply super smoothly. They're a nice thin application, but not runny at all. So if you're in the market for some gels, definitely check them out. And if you have a gel allergy or sensitivity to gels, Triple D also has a two-in-one delicate gel base and top coat and it's really nice so definitely consider that if you're someone that struggles with a gel sensitivity or allergy also i still get a lot of questions about this that finger rest that i'm using is from liquid layers if you look in the description box i have a link for discount codes i have a discount code for liquid layers and it would give you um, 10 percent off on their website um, so that four finger rest and then this thumb rest is from liquid layers they also sell a lot of other things like just organizers for your um, tabletop or bottle holders for your liquids so definitely check them out if you're interested in that sort of thing but I really like the finger rests they perform really well and just position my hand kind of just right so check them out if that's something that you are wondering about 
but I always forget to mention it when I pop them out and I get a lot of questions in my comments. So I wanted to make sure to address that. So top coat is applied and you're gonna go ahead and cure that in the lamp for 60 seconds and then you're done. And you have beautiful, glossy, durable nails. So as per usual, I'm gonna finish up with my candy skincare cuticle candy. You wanna hydrate your cuticles. Um, this is, is important for your, you know, your skin, your cuticle health, um, but also for your nails. You know, they're growing underneath your skin there, and it's just really important to keep them hydrated and give them their little, I guess, nutrients in cuticle oil. I don't know. It feels good. I love it. It makes me feel like finished up after that mani to just make my skin nice and hydrated again. So check them out. There's a discount code for them below as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you check out the new brand if it's new to you. And I will see you guys in my next vid, hopefully sooner rather than later. Check out this video of the shimmer in action and those foils. Oh my goodness, I'm drooling. I need to wear those again. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Bye now.